Hello, this is Steph. Today we're going to check out FMPEG 7.0. So FMPEG 7.0 is the latest stable version of FMPEG as to nowadays. So it has been a while since it has been released. So today we're going to check it out together. So if you didn't do it, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about the latest videos I'll be releasing. And uh, we have Windows, but the same thing can be done on Linux. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are with uh, the browser open. We can go to fmpeg.org. And uh, as soon as we land into the web page of Fimpeg, we can go to news. There is something new so today that we're going to visualize it. And uh, so there is uh, the native XHEAAC decoder, but this will be available in the next stable version if you would like to use the stable version. Otherwise, you can get the development version and use it. So. Now we are concentrating on the news that is 5th of April, 2024, FMPEG 7.0 Dijkstra. So now it's ready to download. We have a native VVC decoder, IAMF support, and a multi-threaded FMPEG 2. So as it says here, it is not backwards compatible and something deprecated before 6.0 has been completely removed. So there is a, a new re-engineering, the new let's say, um, way to encode, decode, uh, filter, etc. So good thing, this is a thing that was promised since a long time. And the uh, fact that there was uh, uh, released uh, in December, 2023, multi-thread back 2, as you can see in the news below. And now, finally, we have it in a stable version. So also, here it says uh, that, okay, there is a number of supported formats and codecs, new filters, APIs, and countless smaller features and bug fixes. Compared to 6.1, the Git repository all contains almost uh, about uh, 2,000 new commits by more or less 100 authors, touching more than uh, 100,000 lines in more or less 2,000 files. Thanks to everyone who contributed and see the change log API changes and the git log for more comprehensive list of changes. So let's see the change log. So here we go. We are making it a bit bigger. So we have a DXV DXT1 encoder. Uh, we have a, a decoder, EVC decoding, usually external library libx EVD. EVC encoding, usually external library e libxev, QA decoder and demuxer, AAP filter, demuxing, decoding, filtering, encoding, muxing in the FFmpeg CLI. Now all run in parallel before they weren't running in parallel. Now they're running in parallel. So there should be, as they promised, there should be light improvement. But now since, so in the news here, uh, note that you should not expect significant performance improvements in cases where almost all computational time is spent in a single component. So if you have something that it re may be parallelized, you may see some improvements. Otherwise, you may you don't see this uh, major um, performance and battering. Okay, so here I see, so as we can see here, we have uh, the remove deprecated FMPEG CLI option, PSNR and map channel. Okay, then uh, good. F play with HW Excel decoding support. So now depends on Vulkan renderer via Libre Placebo. So that's good. So before it was running probably in CPU now. It is uh, requiring some, uh, some uses, some hardware accelerations. And uh, good. So let's see something in action then. Good. So the first thing I want to show you about the uh, FMPEG 7.0 is uh, the uh, decoding of the uh, H.266 or AKA VVC 
codec videos. So I have a, a couple of samples I would like to show you and let's see if with the newer version of FMPEG if they work. First of all, I'd like to show you what the, does a VVC stand for. VVC stands for Versatile Video Coding that uh, AKA, so named as H266, it is finalized, finalized in on the 6th of July 2020 by the Joint Video Experts team. And uh, so this is an evolution of uh, the H.264, H.265. So it guarantees uh, with the same amount of data, uh, uh, so more video information inside. Good. So having this, I have uh, the terminal ready. And uh, now we are in these VVC videos where we have uh, a couple of video files. So I have a Big Buck Bunny that I did separately. So this is a sample that we already saw in the previous videos. And we have, uh, I encoded uh, Big Buck Bunny in the VVC um, codec. And uh, also another video that I downloaded. So I will show you the instruction, I will put the instructions and uh, the uh, thing on how to create uh, a new uh, H.266 VVC video file in the description of this video. So now let's have a look. We're trying with FF Play to play uh, Big Buck Bunny. Okay, here we go. To play the video properly, since it's in an experimental phase, so I didn't show this yet, we are using FMPEG 7.0. We are trying to take a look at the decoders. And at a certain point, we have uh, VVC. So let's do something a bit more, a bit cleverer. So grab VVC. And here we go, we have uh, this X. So this is a video decoder. X means that it's experimental. So this is a, uh, uh, use it at your own risk, let's say. Good. So we're trying to take a look and try to play Big Buck Bunny using uh, FF Play. To play it, we need to put the flags of minus strict and minus two. So just to say, be, FMPEG, please be a bit more relaxed at playing this video. And here we go. Good. So FMPEG is ready to rock and roll. So we are good to go with the, the VVC decoder. Good. So let's try with the other video also. FMPEG. There's a um, Novo Sorbornaya Square, and uh, we put the same strict minus two right here. And here we have the video playing. So you see a bit uh, of uh, coming down of uh, the frame rate by myself, but uh, since uh, it requires a bit of uh, resources, uh, that is the reason. Good. Another thing that is available here uh, in this version of FMPEG is uh, the IAMF. That stands for Immersive Audio Media and Format. So here, sorry, uh, Immersive Audio Model and Format. So Mooxer. And uh, this is available right here. So in the guide, it says the IAMF is used to provide immersive audio content for presentation on a wide range of devices in both streaming and online applications. These applications include internet audio streaming, multicasting, broadcasting services, file download, gaming, communication, virtual and augmented reality, and others. In these applications, audio may be played back on a wide range of devices, headphones, mobile phones, tablets, TV, soundbars, home theater system, and big screens. This format was promoted and designed by Alliance for Open Media. So here we have a AO Media web website, Alliance for Open Media. And uh, so here there's a, a better explanation of uh, the IAMF. So I don't work so much with audio, so I don't know what uh, to do with this yet. But uh, for the people who are working with the uh, uh, things that we mentioned before, so FMPEG 7.0 has you covered. Okay, so the last but not least thing 
is uh, the multi-threaded FFmpeg CLI tool. So thanks to a major refactoring of the FFmpeg common line tool, all the major components of the transcoding pipeline, the muxers, decoders, filters, encodings, and muxers now run in parallel. This should improve throughput and CPA, CPU utilization, decrease latency, and open the way to other exciting new features. Know that you should not expect significant performance. In fact, uh, I cannot show you anything because uh, I tried uh, multiple things, also with very complex things, so pipelines of audio, video, things coming uh, parallel and in series, but I didn't see major improvement in the times involved to create these projects. So uh, note that you should not expect significant performance improvements in cases where almost all computational time is spent in a single component typically video encoding. In fact, video encoding has the heaviest uh, load once you make a project involving audio and video and other things together, but I didn't see any major improvements, so I cannot uh, show you anything uh, about this. Uh, or, let's see. Okay, so here we have uh, two terminal windows. The one on the left presents FMPEG 6.0, so FMPEG minus version. Here you can see that is 6.0. Here it is the version we are taking consideration in this video. So FMPEG 7.0, good. And uh, the video we like to show is this. So it is uh, 10 seconds of a video in 4K. Here we go. So it's pretty, pretty big. So we show you right now what I'm dealing with. Here we go. So this is a video about the uh, traffic in a street. So what I would like to do is uh, to take these filters in this script. So if you don't remember about uh, the complex filters, so here they are, so let me... So since here I cut 10 seconds of video, I would like to respect the same thing here, otherwise uh, the video will be uh, everlasting. So it took se 10 seconds of the video I showed you earlier, we are putting a tiling with the original video on the top left, then the RGMB in the other tiling, so it's a two by two. So if you uh, watch the video about the complex filter, that's the same thing that we did there. And then we encode the video. So let's see if there is an improvement with this, uh, with the, the new version. So here, I'm going to execute the script on FMPEG 6.0. I take the task, task manager and I put it into performance just to see uh, essentially the CPU, the memory, etc. So now at the moment we have the memory that is uh, at 38% and 24% of the utilization or even less 20% for what regards the CPU. So we run the command and let's see what happens. Okay, so now it finished with FMPEG 6.0. So I was uh, uh, taking a look here around also in the details about what FMPEG was doing. And uh, in general, it occupied more or less 70% of the CPU. And uh, here the GPU is uh, uh, stable as always. The memory now has gotten down. Here it was uh, almost at 100%. Uh, um, and now the CPU is at around 30-40%, uh, so this is uh, what we did uh, with the uh, FMPEG 6.0. Okay, so now the system is steady, so we are going on with the FMPEG 7.0, and now let's have a look at uh, 
the performance. So now we have to overwrite the new file. So the file that we created before. And we see how it is uh, the improvement. Okay, so now we finished. I didn't see any major improvement in terms of times. The CPU utilization, the memory was more or less the same. I was also taking a look at the details and more or less it is the same performance. So either I'm testing it not properly, the hardware I'm using is not top notch, so it's a bit old. So maybe with uh, modern hardware, uh, this test, uh, can be done uh, better so maybe probably there will be a next video with uh, the new improvements or maybe there will be better improvements done by fmpeg who would know okay so we are at the end of the video we saw a bit of improvements uh, and uh, new features that have been introduced by fmpeg 7.0 so if you like this video please like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about the next videos i'll be releasing and uh, uh, for the moment thank you very much also for your following your comments your suggestions so i will re i will take care of those and uh, uh, this uh, help improve this channel so help this uh, channel grow please so i hope you uh, will enjoy and uh, we can create a community around that uh, uh, takes care of video multimedia but also other things so for the moment thank you very much and see you next time for other content related to video multimedia but also much 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 more ciao ciao ciao